you might have been using ChatGPT for more than an year now, or a couple of months, but have you ever wondered what it would be like to use a voice version of ChatGPT4? You might be like, well, what's new in that? I had been using different voice assistants like Amazon Alexa, Google Assistant, and Siri on iPhone. What makes ChatGPT 4.0 different? The voice assistant had been here for a couple of years now. So let me show you how. For this, you need to be a ChatGPT 4 Plus subscriber. So once you become the subscriber, I want you to open the ChatGPT 4 app on your phone and click your username. Scroll all the way down to the voices. Hey there, I've got a really great feeling about us teaming up. How can I jump in and help? So these are the kind of different voices that you can choose from. Hey, it's great to meet you. How's your day going? I'm really looking forward to working on some cool stuff together. Can you see the difference in the energy and the kind of emotion this chat GPT voice assistant can generate? Now that's something that's not really available to the same extent in other available voice assistant, the mainstream ones like Amazon Alexa, Google Assistant and Siri. So let's just put these to test and see if there's any upgrade in the voice assistant feature or it's just another thing in the market. We'll go with the voice of, let's say. Hi there. I just want to share how thrilled I am to work with you and I can't wait to get started. So what's the game plan? So let's go for this voice. So you need to click this button over here. And there we go. Hi, Chad. Can you really help me out with the problem? Of course, I'd be happy to help. What's the problem you're dealing with? I had a pretty bad day. My wallet got lost. I lost a lot of money and I have also got an exam tomorrow. I'm extremely anxious and stressed out. I want you to please help me calm down and relax in any way possible. Uh, I'm really sorry to hear about your tough day. Let's try to focus on calming down first. How about we start with some deep breathing? Try this. Take a slow deep breath in through your nose for four seconds. Hold it for four seconds. Then slowly breathe out through your mouth for another four seconds. Repeat this a few times. Um, when you feel a bit more relaxed, maybe we can talk through a plan for your exam tomorrow. What subject is it on? It's on mathematics. I want you to use your voice and induce some sort of an emotion which calms me down. All right, let's take a moment to relax. Close your eyes if it feels comfortable. Uh, imagine you're sitting in a peaceful garden. The sun is warm and a gentle breeze is rustling through the leaves. You can hear the soft sound of birds chirping in the distance. You're completely at ease. Your body feels light and your mind is calm. Breathe in the fresh air deeply, hold it for a moment, and then slowly breathe out, letting go of all your worries and stress. Focus on this peaceful scene and remember that you have the strength to get through this. Everything will be okay. Thank you very much for your help. You're very welcome. I'm glad I could help. If you need anything else or just want to talk, I'm here for you. Good luck with your exam tomorrow. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Take care. So, all of this voice chat also exists in the form of text. So, if you want to, like, go back through the conversation you had with ChatGPT, you can go through all of this over here. So now as you can see that the kind of pauses, the kind of practical advices that were given by this voice assistant, there were no match for the existing voice assistants out there.